what's going on. <laughs> I wanted to talk about what is life. So you have a good example or an idea where you might want to put yourself. <laughs> Ultimately, it's what you want to do. More importantly, it's how you want to feel and go about feeling what you're doing. You don't have to contribute something that you don't feel that's worthwhile. But let's back it up. What is life? Ultimately, your goal should be you should feel amazing every day. And not let anyone else tell you otherwise because that's just their words. And someone can say they're feeling better than you, but you can never feel that. <laughs> Though, I mean, some could, I guess. But the thing is, it, it all depends on here, how you're feeling because someone else can't make you feel a certain way. It's actually up to you. And whether, you know, you have amputee, whether you don't have a freaking arm, you can't walk, maybe you still can walk or you can walk again. Maybe you can get a prosthetic arm or grow that arm back. I don't know, stem cell research, eating some raw foods. <laughs> but the thing is, you have to strive for that. Because once you go in, then you give in, which means you're gonna to resort to doing other things. But the question is, are you doing warily, warily, where your true heart lies? And that's gonna be the difference between you and everyone else. It's just as simple as that. What is life? It's a simple answer. To feel amazing all the time about what you're doing or are doing. Some people commit the volunteering because they feel awesome when they do it. Whether it's serving, you know, lunch at a cafeteria, cleaning up trash, litter, they feel amazing, or helping animals, turtles in the sea. You know, there's so many, or animals at a zoo, volunteering for whatever it is, the elderly, watching kids. You don't have to volunteer <laughs> if it doesn't make you feel good. Though you would have to experience it and you would have to have your heart in it. That's why not everyone does it. <laughs> but also, you have to really want to do it. <laughs> Actually want to do it. That's what makes everyone doing what they do, the reason for it, is because they, ultimately, that's really what they wanted to do. Whether there's cash behind it or not. As you can hear, as I'm stating and saying, it doesn't matter about that because that's just, it's just like a, you know, it's what you want to do. You got to realize what life is first. It's about doing what you want to do. <laughs> and I could say it a million times, but which might need to be said, <laughs> but me breaking it down might give you another concept but me breaking it down is gonna reach further from the truth because doing is life it's your being it's your essence there in the moment and if you don't like something you're doing then now you know are you gonna keep doing what you don't like doing and question the reason behind it or why you're doing that or you're not gonna do it no more <laughs> A lot of people tend to keep on doing it. Time breaks down things. It kills trees. It rots life, the cycle of life. But then a season comes where it's born. We can use seasons metaphorically into constellations in the sky above. It's more of a connection thing. Seasons are real. Things live and die. But the seasons are a big metaphor to life. Our life force dies and comes back. Time breaks everything down. It's resilient. To heal, it's gonna take a long time. 
to feel better. It might take a long time to accomplish something you want to accomplish. Uh, might take a long time. Life could seem like a long time, but it may be short to another human existence. Or you, just it may seem longer or you're short. It all depends on how your days go. But ultimately, again, it's how you're feeling about what you're doing. <clears throat> and then there's questioning the reason if you don't feel my uh okay why are you doing it is there a reason a bigger accomplishment that you want to reach and pull out of this and ultimately you have the answer everyone is made of the same thing and they already have the answers they're usually the same but they go their different routes and someone's happiness Everyone is made of pure happiness. You should be pure happy, full of energy every day. Okay, what if I'm not? A lot of people aren't. Don't be sad. The reason the people are successful or you see certain people, A, they cover it up really good, or B, they are super successful with their health. Once you get your health online and you have full of energy all day because that's how we're supposed to feel and you're supposed to be amazing. I don't care what you have to take. If you have to take a medicine to feel amazing every day, then do it. If you have to do a million push-ups to feel amazing every day, then do it. <laughs> if you have to eat something to provoke a feeling of ecstasy, then do it. <laughs> it's you, you are in control of your life. Your happiness is your life. It is. There's nothing more. It's your natural state. <laughs> don't be fooled and don't be think it's not, you know. It's just as simple as that. Some people, <clears throat> successful people, sometimes risk their happiness in a way that you might not understand because they could be doing nothing you, you you should be merely happy doing nothing at least feeling good doing nothing just sitting there this is how you get to know yourself and become aware go you don't even have to go in the woods but if you can go in the forest or woods and you have to be calm you have to have a nervous system to feel and when you sit and not move this is the essence and the state of being. It's the most cheerful and happy, hap, happiest, hapful, bunch of different words are made up. Happiest thing you can do is just sit there. You don't have to do something to be happy. Happiness is a flow of state. It, it's just a creation of happiness. <laughs> if you're not happy, you need to change that and do whatever makes you happy. <clears throat> And it should make you feel good. If drinking 24-7 makes you... If you're being real with yourself and you drink 24-7, I'm talking alcohol, whether it's brandy or some cheap whiskey or freaking vodka, it doesn't matter. If you feel amazing, then do it. Don't listen to anybody. But the thing is, is people aren't real with themselves. Real with themselves. And do you feel amazing about it? I'm not saying that you can't or you can. It's... Being real with yourself, no one is connected to the self, and this is the misconception is like it's out here, it's really in here. The people who are successful, what what do they do? They usually look like they're doing nothing. Now there's many reasons for this. Because they got there, maybe doing a bunch of things and don't have to do as much because now their productivity is a thousand times for doing one thing that's why I said you might have to work your way and it takes time resilience because time breaks down the body and just everything you m mourning grieving it takes time it could be time but there's no category there's no amount of time it just takes space existence between one point and another a day or two we don't need to talk talk uh, specific increments such as minutes and hours or days years no one knows some people it takes lifetimes. Hate to go there. After lifetimes. <laughs> Successful people usually don't look like they're doing much at all, but they look like they're the happiest. Or they could have, you know, they're devoting their time to do something, to do whatever it is. Some people could be doing nothing in the middle of the woods and be super happy, far off, and no one talks to them. They're completely isolated. Isolated. Some people go to freaking universities, become a teacher, a professor, 
public speaking, politician, to do big things. They commit all the time to doing this. Is it what's truly making them happy? Only they will know. They can't tell you. Sometimes you can see it. Most people that are truly happy don't even know it. <laughs> and they don't, uh, they don't, they, so they don't, they don't know it, so it's a hard connect to them in a way. It, but that may even sound off in itself. The people who are, you see them doing things and you feel what they say. There is freaking fools out here. People say things that they never felt before and say things like this. I feel love. I've noticed. I always have. But everyone does. It's not. <laughs> it's not blown out of proportion like the media or something. But we're almost getting sidetracked or off track. What is life? It's about doing what makes you feel alive. Feeling alive is alive. Whether that's going to climb a mountain. Going to run through a desert, playing a video game, making music, drawing a picture, being a judge, being a part, participating in a jury. It's about feeling alive, whatever that is to you. And it's going to feel different from everyone. Even though we have the same soul, we have different personalities, that's for sure. And we have different energy levels and different way of exerting this. And it's just as simple as that. Get your health in check. Your happiness. The truth is there. A lot of people say truth. I don't understand what they're saying. <laughs> what are you saying just because it's truth? It's only true to you. It can only be true to you. So let that set in and mark my words. To feel happiness is to feel alive. Amazing, extraordinary, all the time, no matter what you're doing, because you wanted it the best of your life, the best there can be. You chose this. This is why successful people, I'm using that terms and quotes, because you see them, but you don't know how their life is. But we can just use a projectory and say, they, they're full of energy per small things that they did or now do are actually enormous things and they're full of life moving not stagnant flexible and I think flexibility is super key to life enjoy your day in your life <laughs> leave with this question do you truly feel happiness or do you want it and are you going after it because no one else is only you are <laughs> Have a nice day.